You're the owner of Hug a Monkey, right? Yes. What is Hug a Monkey? Hug a Monkey is a baby sling company. We manufacture and sell baby slings online. Why would you want to do this? How did you get started doing that? Uh, I was given a baby sling when I had my first daughter eight years ago, and it was it was horrendous. It was the ugliest fabric, and it was enormous. And I thought I could make one better than this, and so I just started making them and making them and making them and came up with the perfect design and then people started asking for them and and uh, one day a complete stranger showed up and knocked on my door and said are you the baby sling lady and that's when the light bulb went over my husband's head he's like oh people want these <laughs> and we started the business that's awesome so how popular has the baby sling become um, they've become really popular. They've been around for thousands of years all over the world, just mm -hmm. simple pieces of fabric. But just in the last, uh, even less than a decade, people have been really buying a lot. A lot of really big companies have exploded out of the industry, just baby slings. Mm -hmm. And what do you like about it as a mom? I love it because it folds up to the size of a sandwich, so you can just stick it in the purse or the diaper bag or the car glove compartment. You can take it anywhere. It's really um, fast. I've been clocked at 24 seconds putting one on and putting a baby <laughs> inside. Um, I don't know, when you have kids and you're going places, you need a way to carry them. And so it's probably the easiest way that I know of. Mm -hmm. So there's been, there was a warning out a few weeks ago, and then today there was a, a recall of very two specific brands mm -hmm. that were related to some deaths. What were your concerns when you heard those warnings and then today's recall? Um, the warning was a shocker, uh, and I'll be honest, it got me a little upset because it was such a blanket statement. Baby slings are unsafe. When I knew, and my thousands of customers knew, that baby slings were safe and that there are lots of ways to use them properly and lots of different kinds that are very safe. And so that really caused a wave in the baby sling community. And so. I was able to breathe a sigh of relief when they came out with the official recall saying, you know, just these two kinds are what have been causing the problems. Um, what have you been hearing from your customers? <coughs> we actually uh, asked them for their feedback, um, whether they thought baby slings are safe, and we got lots and lots of feedback saying, I've been using one for 12 years, or with all six of my kids, or things like that, and saying that I've never had a problem, or couldn't live without this thing, somebody <laughs> said. So the feedback has been really positive, which was really helpful to me. <laughs> so what when you when you wear it, <coughs> I, I, we're going to put up a graphic that shows how to do it. Okay. Um, not I'll to do it right properly. There, too. Yeah. <laughs> cool, you can demonstrate for us too. So how do you, um, what do you tell your customers, or what, you know, how do you do it right? Um, the things I tell them to look for is to make sure the baby is in a more upright position instead of laying down all the way kind of slumped over. If they're sitting up more and there's good support behind their back, then they'll be okay. And also if their faces are more up and out of the fabric of the sling and not buried down mm -hmm. inside of it. Those are the two biggest things. Yeah. And I guess the, this product recall is talking about not being under four months old when they're in them. Is that still, is that pretty standard or people use them still when they're pretty um, young? People, yeah, I've used one from the hour that my baby was born, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I think infants, small infants between four, zero and four months can be carried safely in a sling. It's a matter of the parents being aware and, and keeping close tabs on the baby. We had a coworker talking about how that was the only way he could get his baby to go to sleep at night when he was sling. So what do, what do the, the infants think of it? What do the kids think, the toddlers, and you're carrying them around in these things? I mean, what do they... How do they like it? Um, oh, they love it because it keeps them so curled up and and um, close to your heart. So an infant, you know, likes to hear the mom's heartbeat and and uh, just being held snugly against the mom's warm body. It's really it's really nice. We've had a lot of people comment that there's no other way, like you said, that their baby would go to sleep or could calm a fussy baby like being in a baby sling. Mm -hmm. So what's your con you're relieved that this recall came out? Are, are you worried that many people will just hear recalls and not buy baby slings at all and that would impact your business? Uh, of course, of course that's been a worry with me, but um, at the same time it's nice that it has been um, it has been catered back to the two specific ones that were having the reports so that 
I think it will hopefully spark people getting to research more to find out what kind of sling will be best for them, or what kind of carrier would be the safest. So I'm hoping it, it yeah, it sparks more information mm -hmm. out there instead of just fear. Yeah. Great. Anything else you want to add? Um, Hug a monkey's grave? Yeah. <laughs> Go buy a baby sling at hugmonkey.com. <laughs> well, maybe you can uh, you show us some of your website here. Penny you can get some video of your mm -hmm. website here. Go out of the, I know. Oh, whoops. <laughs> like a circus or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, a black baby sling goes with everything. So. So what's it like owning your own business? Is it pretty stressful or you guys enjoy it? Sometimes it's stressful. It's stressful when you depend on a lot of outside sources. You know, we've had fabric shipments that have been late overseas. Things out of your control. But on the other hand, it's really nice. It's really nice to be in control of your own, you know. Is this what you wanted destiny. to do when you grew up? <laughs> Is this what you wanted to be when you grew up? Or? Just a mom. I just want to be a mom, so I get to do that. He, you know, he works on it from the basement. He does most of it. <laughs> He's the genius behind it. But you're the one that came up with the design and stuff. I saw your little online thing where you've got like a double seam at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's where you put them. And yeah. In the pouch. Yeah. It's a good design. And the shoulder is, is folded. Oh. Uh oh. You don't want to record that. <laughs> so the connection timed out, Bill. So the shoulders folded. Some other slings you have to fold before you put them on, and then they can slide and come undone. So oh. this one seam, so you never have to adjust it. Yeah, I saw some um, online that are like the rings. And... Yeah, that's the kind that I had given to me mm -hmm. when my baby was little, and it was awful. Our executive producer says she tried the ones that are just big, long pieces of like hippie fabric. And that she you wrap said, them up. I wrap them up. I was doing that. I was so confused. <laughs> I just had a lady email me today and say she had one of those and she sweated like a pig all summer last year because there was like five yards of fabric wound and round around you. Like, oh no. That's no, I wouldn't be able to handle that. Like, it's like a scarf. I, I, I did one way, this way, or I tie it through and that's it. You get more complicated than that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her about where they're made, Leah. Um, oh, that's the other great thing is they're made just down in Linden by the by the freeway, so it's really nice to be able to just jet down there and yeah. you know keep tabs on things and employ the quality is better. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. Keep the jobs here. That's awesome. And did you say you had a little tab where you um, asked for feedback about? Oh yeah. I'll just shoot some different. Um, So is this your full-time job too then? No. no. <laughs> it's my full-time side job. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I work for a company called Orange Soda. They do internet marketing. I was going to say, what, Soda? Yeah. Soda, <laughs> soda <laughs> pop? Dry. <laughs> he tests Orange Soda. All well, then that makes sense that you would do this on the side then. Yeah, we, well... We've always wanted to start a little business, and we've always liked internet businesses. Mm -hmm.